हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम इंग्लिश एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉप ट्वेंटी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑफ पोलारीमीटर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर माई लेटेस्ट वीडियो अपडेट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज व्हाट इज द यूएसपी जनरल चैप्टर नंबर ऑफ पोलारीमीटर द आंसर इज यूएसपी जनरल चैप्टर नंबर सेवन एट्टी वन नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट इज द मेजरिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पोलारीमीटर आंसर इज ए पोलारीमीटर इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट व्हिच मेजर्स द एंगल ऑफ रोटेशन बाय पासिंग पोलराइज लाइट थ्रू एन ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव सब्सटेंसेज to measure optical rotation a light emitting diode produces a beam of ordinary light next is what is use of polarimeter answer is polarimetry is used in chemistry in a variety of ways their primary use is to measure the angle of rotation of an optically active substances using polarized light the polarized light will either rotate clockwise or counter clockwise and the amount it rotates indicates the angle of rotation next is what is the difference between optical rotation and specific optical rotation answer is over is the rotation of light when passes through the optically active compound solution at normal temperature on the other end sor means examine the same at a specific temperature like at 25 degree centigrade next is what is the light source of polarimeter answer is a sodium lamp is used as a light source in a polarimeter next is why sodium lamp used in polarimeter answer is due to its high energy output as its contents mercury sodium lamp used in polarimeter next is which solution is used in polarimeter for calibration answer is a sucrose solution with a defined concentration was used to calibrate polarimeters relating the amount of sugar molecule to the light polarization rotation next is which lens is used in polarimeter answer is the essential parts of this polarimeter are a monochromatic light source a convex lens which changes the incident light beam into a parallel one next is what is the instrumentation of a polarimeter answer is a polarimeter consists of a light source a monochromator filters out all but a specific wavelength of light a polarizer converts the light beam to plain polarized light a sample tube hold the sample being measured a second polarizer to determine the degree of rotation and a light detector next is what is the length of a polarimeter tube answer is the most common tube lengths are 100 to 200 mm the 400 mm tube are for visual sugar polarimeters when testing colored sample it is sometimes necessary to use shorter tube to reduce light absorption next is why sucrose is used for calibration of polarimeter answer is polarimetry basically measure the angle of rotation of polarized transverse waves or polarization at is passes through an optically active fluid such as sucrose which is a nearly ideal sugar for testing and calibration next is what is the wavelength of sodium lamp used in polarimeter answer is 589.44 nm next is what are the concentration of sucrose solution are used to calibrate polarimeter answer is 10% 20% and 30% sucrose solution are prepared for the calibration of polarimeter next is what is the angle of rotation in polarimeter answer is a angle of rotation is produces when a plane polarized light 
passes through the optically active substances and polarimeter measure this angle next is what is dextrorotatory and levorotatory answer is when the plane polarized light passes through the compounds as a result some compounds rotates clockwise described as dextrorotatory and some compound rotates anti clockwise described as levorotatory next is why distilled water is used as a blank in polarimeter answer is water is used as a blank in the polarimeter as the optical rotation of solute is needed therefore on using water as a blank the optical rotation of solvent is subtracted and optical rotation of pure compound is obtained next is what is the unit of a polarimeter answer is as a definition it corresponds with the angle of rotation of a sample at 100% concentration measured with a 100 mm observation tube the unit is expressed as like this next is is sugar optically active answer is sugar may be defined as optically active polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones as it contains at least one asymmetrical carbon and is therefore optically active next is what is dnl configuration answer is all naturally occurring alpha amino acids are optically active due to the presence of chiral carbon atoms this have either d or l configuration d form means that the amino group is present towards the right hand side and l form shows the presence of amino group on the left hand side and the last one is what is the application of polarimeter in pharmaceutical industry answer is polarimetry is used to determine a specific rotation and optical rotation of products such as amino acids cocaine antibiotics dextrose carbohydrates analgesic vitamins steroids sugar serums diuretics codeine etc so friends this is all about the important interview questions of polarimeter i hope you understand the video